Americans can have confidence that the banking system is safe. Your deposits will be there when you need them. President Biden re reassures Americans following the collapse of one bank and the shutdown of another within days of each other. The president says he's going to ask Congress and banking regulators to strengthen the rules for banks. He wants to make it less likely this kind of bank failure can happen again. He then outlined steps being taken by the federal government to protect customer deposits at the collapsed Silicon Valley Bank. First, leaders of the bank will be fired. He also said those that invested in the bank will not be protected because they knowingly took a risk. And bank customers will have access to their money. No losses will be borne by the taxpayers. Instead, the money will come from the fees that banks pay into the deposit insurance fund. Because of the actions of that, because of the actions that our regulator has already taken, every American should feel confident that their deposits will be there if and when they need them. The Securities and Exchange Commission said today it's on high alert for any misconduct amid the recent bank turmoil. Well, meanwhile, IT Nate is looking into the wide-reaching impact of the bank closure that could impact some of you right here in Indiana. IT Mate reporter Cody Fisher spoke with a finance expert to find out if you need to be worried. A finance professor at IU's Kelly School of Business tells me that we're not completely out of the danger zone with this situation. Right now, we don't know if banks here in Indiana were dabbling in the same type of investments that these other banks were. Christoph Kleiner is a professor teaching finance at the Kelly School of Business. He told IT Mate the failed banks were flush with cash just a few years ago. They invested that money. But when inflation hit and interest rates rose, that caused this problem. He says it's likely some businesses in Indiana had money in these failed banks, but we don't know for sure because a full list of companies impacted is not publicly available. A number of large startups are in, in Indiana, uh, Indianapolis and other parts of Indiana, and so they might actually be customers of this bank. Now, I don't think it's a direct concern for them because the U.S. government has already said that all depositors will get their money back, but at least temporarily, those may, it might be a concern for those companies to be able to match their payroll let's say this coming week, until that money comes in. The problem isn't just for businesses. Kleiner says medium to small banks in Indiana could also be at risk if they were tied up in the same type of investments the other banks were. The finance professor at IU's Kelly School of Business tells me that Congress could possibly look to strengthen banking regulations again because of what's happening. Reporting in Indianapolis, Cody Fisher, Wish TV, IT Mate.